The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do you questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and he ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. He is risen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, good morning. Just got in from uh, the Daily Walk, and it was a little brisk out there, but it was beautiful out there. It was, um, it's a chance just to get outside and, and take in all the sights and smells of another wonderful day. And that's what um, our gospel is kind of about today, too, where uh, the importance of God the Father to send his Son to us so we can understand his love and mercy for us by having his Son be both divine and human by showing his hands and showing his feet and, and being among us as a human so we can understand and so we can believe. And the sacraments are that way as well, uh, something that our senses can comprehend, something that we can see, hear, touch, and feel. So it truly is a, a measure of how much God loves us and how much God created us in his image so we understand that we truly have something to look forward to especially in these times of fear, uh, a true God, a, a God who loves us each and every day so we can push through and push toward our heavenly home. And now for the Saint of the Day from Franciscan Media, it's Saint Bernadette. This is Saint Bernadette Subaru. Tsk, tsk, what is the problem with that poor, ignorant girl who claims that the Blessed Mother has appeared to her? Poor Bernadette, indeed, the uneducated French peasant who first reported visions of Mary in Lourdes, France in 1858, was disbelieved by clergy and dismissed by townspeople. But she wasn't shaken. She insisted that Mary had appeared to her 18 times over six months, and she reported the Blessed Mother identified herself as the Immaculate Conception a title given to Mary by Pope Pius IX only four years earlier. According to young Bernadette, Mary called for the conversion of sinners through penance. She also urged people to visit the place of the apparitions and asked that a church be built on the site. Since then, millions of people have bathed in the springs at Lourdes, and many have reported miraculous healings. Bernadette joined the Sisters of Notre Dame at Nevers, there she lived as Sister Maria Bernarda until her death in 1879 at age 35. She was canonized in 1933. Now for the joke, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Ha, ha, ha. And let us pray. Lord God, you have made one people out of many different races and nations, united through confessing the glory of your name. They are born to new life and baptism. Let there be one faith in their hearts, one love in their Christian way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day.